Okay, so let's begin by um, being aware of our body. Be aware how you're sitting and make sure you're sitting comfortably in with a straight back. And just bring your attention inwards. You may want to close your eyes or half close your eyes just so that you can listen better to your body. And as you listen, use that awareness to help you allow your body to relax. Noticing where there's tight feelings and where there's kind of static electricity in your body, where there's that busy energy. At this present time, we are living in a worldwide field of anxiety. So there may be some of that energy present in your body, whether you experience it as anxiety or not, but just that slightly tense, electrically charged energy. And just notice it. And as you bring awareness to it, it will probably begin to quieten down. But whatever is going on in your body, just continue to bring your awareness to it. without too much analyzing and judging. So again, that very persistent, continuous thinking stream of inner monologue. Um, it will continue, will come and go. But as you notice, you're beginning to talk to yourself and your awareness is drifting away from just being aware of the sensations in your body. And just let go of that thinking, bring your mind back to the very present moment of whatever's going on in the body. You may want to use the breathing as a focus when you want to quieten the inner conversation. So by redirecting our attention to the level of the body, it helps us to keep our mind in the present moment. So through listening to our body, we can listen to the present moment. What is it saying to us?
And as you ask yourself this question, then there will be a response to the question. There will be many, of course, from one moment to another. Then your active intelligence is responding to the present moment. But then very quickly, your conceptual mind will try to crystallize this into a definite thought and bring words to it. So when you see that happening, when you notice that you're getting led away from the present moment into a train of thought, and just notice that and let go of the train of thought and come back to the present moment. Come back to your body. If it's helpful, come back to the breathing and listen again to what is present right here, right now. And as I listen, I begin to be aware that it isn't just me, a separate individual, listening to something going on just inside my own skin. But I'm part of a much larger whole. I'm situated within the situation that is evolving around the world. So again, without getting stuck in the thinking mind and analyzing the situation, describing it, just try to listen to, listen out for, what is my response right now to the situation right now that is all around us. What am I aware of going on in the wider world? And it's as if we can hear thousands and thousands of voices all around the world, not so much saying words, but each person having their own emotional response to the situation. We can tune into that with our mind. So again, being very careful not to get too stuck in trying to work out what's happening. Just use awareness to notice it. And so as we are aware on the conscious level, how the six of us here are connected through some technology and through our shared experience together. We can also be aware that we're connected 
to everyone else. All the humans and all the other living creatures that are experiencing the situation. And all of our individual and collective responses to that situation are continuously evolving and changing. Our response is not static. But each of our responses is independent, interdependent with everyone else's. So just through this meditation that we're doing now is having an effect on that global consciousness that is evolving. It has been said not in relation to this present crisis, which is probably a short term thing, but in relation to the much bigger ecological evolutionary crisis that this is part of, has been said, we can think of this crisis as a birth crisis. We tend to think of the ecological crisis in terms of death, something ending but it may not be. This trauma that we're going through, this challenging situation, this fear, this uncertainty, could also be, they're not mutually exclusive, it could also be seen as, experienced as, the pain, an uncertainty and sense of crisis that one can imagine a baby experiencing as he or she emerges from the womb. We really do not know what is coming to birth in this present moment. Birth is a time of tremendous potential. It's also a time of fear and pain and danger. And all these are very vividly present in the situation that we're facing now. So the invitation from Thomas Hubel and Otto Sharma is that we have two alternatives. In this situation, we can retreat into shutdown, denial, fear, separateness, protecting ourselves from each other, or we can respond by keeping our hearts and minds open to what is happening. We can respond with curiosity, an open mind, with compassion, an open heart, and also with courage, which Otto Sharma <coughs> describes as an open will, a willingness to respond perhaps actively, to participate in what is going on and to bring the energy of our awakening consciousness 
our openness, our self-awareness into the fray, if you like, as a resource, a contribution to the collective awakening that is needed in the world now. So let's spend a few moments with those thoughts and whatever else resonated strongly if you listened to the dialogue talk and whatever else is resonating strongly for you at the moment in terms of your personal response and the collective response to the situation that is unfolding. Hey, thank you.